going, Mega Eagle? Hi, folks. Um, I'm actually making this intro after I've made the project here because uh, I don't know if I didn't do an intro or uh, I lost it. I don't know. Um, this is about a uh, you know Chinese um, uh, siphon nozzle for an oil burning stove and building the oil burning heater around it, waste oil burning, yeah, very good. And uh, and what, yeah, kind of successful. Um, I've taken it a step further, expedited build, so you'll just get a lot of shots of me playing around with this thing, a uh, little bit of explanation, and then the finished stove, yeah? And then, you know, a couple of fireballs and that. Uh, all right. There's only a very little, very, very small flame in there, um, and as I turned up the the air in the nozzle, uh, you know, the less oil was actually burning, the more oil I was getting on the uh, on the pan. Then I, I want to try it in a in a wider pipe. Yeah, um, I've got a feeling I need more oxygen and. Uh, Okay, so change of tack. Uh, we're just starting on kerosene. It burns really nice on kerosene. I think that's what this thing's designed for, to be honest. Uh, lit up instantly. A nice strong grain flame. Plenty of heat coming off it already. There's a jug of dirty kero. I'm going to switch it over to the, uh, to the waste oil and see what happens. So here we have a, another slightly different tube um, from some far, far ago experiment. Uh, can't remember what, but uh, I think we should stick the uh, stick the nozzle in here and see what happens. <laughs> it's going.
lovely that is. Just wait for everything inside to burn off to make sure it's That seems to work quite nicely. Um, right, let's build a stove. <laughs> I think we've done all the R&D we need to. This is a, this is a bloody lovely nozzle. Um, yeah. Yeah, I don't know if you think it's a cop out or anything, but um, it certainly does make, make for an easy, uh, easy burner build. Here we go. It's a uh, mini moto air filter. For the, uh, for the fuel pickup, I didn't want anything restrictive. Um, no, I don't think a fuel filter, an ordinary like lawnmower sort of fuel filter, would would do the uh, do the suction any favour, would it? Because uh, they're normally for gravity feed into a carb with a fairly fairly runny liquid, but um, thick oil trying to be picked up just by a siphon. I uh, figured that was the the best thing out of everything I have. <laughs> Everyone's got a mini motor air filter, right? It only does this when it's warming up. Promise. <laughs> it's settling down. The nozzle came with this. The burner came with this. Uh, it's a diffuser. I, I didn't even think about it because I just assumed this was for force induction, but you know, what the hell? Let's, uh, let's throw this on the side of there. I've got to find a bit of pipe the right size for it first. Um, we'll see what effect this has, eh? Every day's a school day and all that. Let's uh, let's play around with it. And, you know, a little bit of a rush. Not in a rush, but you know, it'd be nice to get on the things. But uh, let's carry on playing with this until it's nice. This is how it wants to be. I mean, it's it's pretty quiet. It seems like it's pretty quiet. It doesn't sound like it's going to explode. running really nice now um, it's not putting out a whopping amount of heat again like it's coming from everywhere though I'll, I'll get the heat gun out when it's finished and show you a, um, it'll definitely keep this place warm it's nice it's, it's good enough uh, I like the I like the noise it's making i.e. bugger all just the uh, just the sound of the escaping air eh? um, I expect there was some naturally aspirated dripper stoves that are just you know even quieter than this just the just the uh, the noise of the fire itself uh, but you know from where I from where I came from with <laughs> the original noisy ones uh, right we're in a pretty good place right now okay we're having some interesting things going on here um, I've been running the whole setup with the uh, with the dripper installed and dripping just behind the uh, uh, what are we calling that bit diffuser I suppose um, I mean that, and that worked beautifully uh, excellent output and I could turn the air right down which you know with the air turned down it's quieter um, but but what but what but what. Uh, 
I mean, obviously, obviously, like the oil got hot behind this and choked the whole thing up. The nozzle got scummed up. Everything got pretty gnarly in there. Uh, you know, still beautiful and clear down this end, but uh, where the oil was getting hot, but um, and cooking off from the dripper, uh, it choked everything up. So right now, I've just got I've just got the nozzle laid in there. I need the heat. I'm doing my glass fibre. Um, but uh, so I've got the dripper going, got that blowing a bit. The, the little bit of blow definitely pulls a bit of air through this thing, which is great. Um, putting out a nice amount of heat at the minute. The nice bit is a little bit higher. Uh, so what, the conclusion that I'm coming to is that basically this 0.8 nozzle, um, it's a little bit small for this setup, yeah? Um, okay. Let's have a little Barry Butchers at the sort of output of this thing. Um, we've obviously got, uh, oh, that's, I mean, that's getting on for yellow red. Uh, can anyone tell me before I gun it what yellow red is? I don't know. I'm not going to pretend I do. Yellow red is uh, exactly 677.5 degrees Celsius, eh? Hey, <laughs> I didn't even have the probe in the right place. Oh, okay. Right, so you can actually follow that uh, that twist of red up from down at the bottom, where the uh, the tube's obviously throwing all the fuel at the uh, at the side of the bottle and it's winding its way up. So, you know, I'm happy that I use the gas bottle. This is fairly uh, fairly chunky steel. This whole bottle. Um, I did have the uh, the pipe glowing red, so I've had it hot. I think, um, but it's, it's wound down a bit in a minute. Um, the plate. I like the plate, I like the fact that I use that, um, what, 3 8 plate, I suppose. It's a decent old thickness there, and it, it was belting out a huge amount of heat. Um, there we go. But obviously I've got the bricks on it now. Um, so, you know, the bricks and that underneath and on top are going to hamper air circulation to the hottest bits a bit I suppose but um, I don't know I'm a, I'm a big fan of thermal mass mate you know and also I pulled the uh, pulled the storage heat off the wall upstairs in the house so uh, you know <laughs> electricity bills have gone wild recently haven't they so uh, you know um, what well, we weren't using it anyway to be honest uh, so what else have we got yeah what do we say 300 200 200 on that plate down there Pipe. Isn't that hot? See the bottle's roasty toasty. You get up to seven there. Probably a little bit hotter than I'd like it to be honest, because not gonna last long, even if it is thick metal. Uh, it does uh you know once you get past that sort of red into that sort of red. Right, the uh, the um, what do you call it? Not abrasion. The other one uh, where it just disappears. Um, attrition? I don't know. It, it disappears a lot quicker and the redder it is. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's the scientific terminology, I guess. We gun it outside. There's shooting going on out there at the minute, but we'll, we'll have a little look with the probe outside. Nice and clear. See, I've got the. Uh, just knock this up. Keep the wind off the end of the pipe because uh, I, it was it was causing the. Um, well, it was one of the reasons for me getting a few sort of backfires. Yeah. I think we're doing a reasonable job of recovering. A decent amount of heat here. Um, yeah, obviously this is a very short exhaust. I should probably say, uh, expect some more shenanigans with the uh, with the siphon burner. Uh, I don't think it's perhaps the best thing to be using for a uh, a free draft burner. Yeah, or, uh, what do I mean by that? Not forced draft. Um, I think that thing will only realise its true potential with a blower behind it. Yeah, So I'm going to mess around a bit and try and uh, 
maybe maybe replace what I've got in my foundry with that. And uh, you know, when I do the um, ceramic insulation, replace what you know the the refractory concrete that I've got in there currently with ceramic insulation. I might I might have a little play around with that. Uh, not that one. I'll need something much bigger. That's 0.8, by the way, in case anyone cares. It's too small for this thing. That's why I've got the dripper in there. I, I think in here I I need at least one mil. Uh, and then after one mil, I think there's a 1.5, 1.2 and a 1.5 you can get. And then there's two, three and four. Uh, I do have a big four mil one coming in hot from China. Right? <laughs> okay. Uh, we'll see what happens with that. That's probably way too big for my foundry needs, but, um, you know, the thing of oil is, like, it's free, so it doesn't really matter if we waste too much. I don't like wasting it because it's still still something that I have to go and get it's, you know it costs me time doesn't it hey um, I'm not totally free like that but uh, what for a, for a tight ass like me it's better to be um, spending a bit of time on my fuel than a uh, hard earned coin at the uh, filling station and it means giving those blood suckers at Inland Revenue less of my fucking paycheck doesn't it hey <laughs> can't be a bad thing can't be a bad thing all right, take it easy, folks. See you later. Bye-bye.